Video 807, we're on 807, let's go. Okay, so on top level lookup tables, we have some monkey wrench macros here for the lookup table that's further down here. We're gonna make sure that the edge enumerations go top, right, bottom, left, respectively, zero, one, two, and three, so that when we're filling this out, it makes sense. So edge enumeration to neighbor offset X, and here's the values for that edge enumerations to neighbor offset y, right? We're just putting the edge enumeration in and getting a directional vector out that represents the edge. We're gonna make sure there's exactly four elements in there. Now, in the mutable data section for the fractal bucket functions, we have a new area, try to grow arg struct. So this is an input object that is gonna take the original hotel cord to bound the flood fill to the hotel the tile of the, the parent tile coordinate, and then what edge we're looking to spawn children on, and then the binary tile payload information, and then this is the output data. So we can have a maximum of 256 neighbor tiles that are spawned from the parent. If we have any uh, children tiles, this will be set to positive, and the number of children will be set in here, and then we have this kind of quadruply paired array that will store all of the children locations. Okay, uh, in the fractal brush functions, we have our try grow function, which is just a stub that has the input and output parameters here. In our fill function down here, if we scroll down here, uh, we have neighbor offset X and Y within MISC variables. In Pirates of Memory Bay, we have aliases for this long ass stuff, try, grow, and outgrow. And then down here in the Welcome to Hotel California loop, uh, th this is fucking wrong, so I marked it as wrong. We'll have to fix it in another video because this position, th this isn't quite right. We don't have time to get into it. We have a footnote explaining why that's wrong. Okay, down here in our infinite loop where we're doing our flood fill algorithm, We've labeled this loop as E4 grow loop, and we're gonna do the logic for here in another video because we just don't have enough time. It was too much fucking code. Okay, and then uh, that's it. So if you want a longer explanation, you can go here. You're on the fast playlist. We don't, we don't have time here. Like, subscribe, and follow. I'm making a game engine from complete scratch and documenting every line.